I'm going to cook bolognese if it is, and I'm going to do it without any additional flavors from, from the supermarket. I'm going to do all the sauce on my own. So all I need is my new meat. Yeah, it's the water for spaghetti cooking already, and I already just had some onions that is had red ones on the restaurant. Then I still got a tomato to it. Okay, so I'm just going to take my water to boil and then I will get going. So stay tuned. So, and um, by the way, I didn't add any oil because, um, um, um Bacon has really much oil, so you don't need unnecessary calories again. So, like that, then I'm going to put my onions. So, I did put onions now. I'm, I'm letting them simmer a little bit. And then, I will be coming back after some minutes. And then I'll put the, um, the paprika and the the tomato so my water is boiling too then i'm going to do the spaghettis so there we go i did put paprika and the tomato and now i'm letting it cook for some moment i didn't put no water yet i like it cooking and also no spices yet even no salt because allegedly um Putting salt slows uh, the cooking process, so I'm always putting salt when I'm all, almost done with the cooking. So, yeah, I just keep stirring, 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 stirring. So, if you stop stirring, of course, it will stick, and that's what we're avoiding. So, stir, 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 and stir again and again. Yes, it looks yummy already. And yeah, my spaghetti is cooking too. Yes, and how we? Yes, so I am going to use some paprika in powder form, and then I'm going to put some some white pepper. And then for the sauce, I'm going to need um, one spoonful of, of, um, of wheat flour and some water and of course some salt. So I'm going to show you that in a bit. For now, you have to continue stirring, stirring, stirring until you are sure that it's not sticking anymore or, or rather when you start after some time you can now put a little bit of water and cover it and let it simmer for some time so i'm going to put in some water and then i'm going to cover it let it cook. I'm cooking on one, one and a half heat, not that hot. And at the side, cooking my spaghetti too. So yeah, I'm going to let it cook for one to two minutes, and then I'll stir again. So I am back, and I let it cook for about five minutes. So what I'm going to do now is put some. Um, tomato paste I already put some not too much and then I'm going to put some um, pepper not that much it's according to your test I don't like that much because it, it does affect me so and, and I'm going to put some paprika the paprika pulver whoa <laughs> I didn't put a little too much, but it's not bad. And then, now here comes the twist. I told you you need one spoonful of of um of wheat meal, 
So that's what I took, and then put some cold water. It's very important, you have to use cold water for this. Put some cold water, and then make a um, solution out of it, and make sure it's all, all done, like it's smooth and soft. And then what you do is actually a simple pour it inside and then make sure you reduce your, your heat put it at one if possible or depends on what you're cooking with like which kind of cook you're cooking with so after that you just have to do that so you see it's a little bit too thick so I'm probably going to need water Stir, stir. put other spices if you want for me this is already too much <laughs> like it does taste good so of course you have to put salt too So, we put some salt. So now we have to be careful that you don't put too much. And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to add some little water and then let it boil a little bit for some five minutes. So, that's pretty much it. Because since consistency is nice and yeah. It looks yummy already, and you can enjoy it as much whichever you want. My spaghetti is done too, so yes, that was pretty much it. If um you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, leave your comment, and yeah, watch this video to the end, please. <laughs> yeah, bye until. The next, love you people.